you guys might be surprised at what is reflex doing with kids picture yeah i usually don't take kids photography but i really enjoyed this section and what if i tell you that kids manipulation are way easier than adults background manipulations so let me show you how i do this manipulation very very easy and straightforward i want to show you how i did this so i'm going to be doing two of the pictures so two different outfits this and this right so here's just a tip i'm going to give to you guys whenever i want to do any manipulation especially kid manipulation make sure you use a background that will be similar to the background you want to bring in and also don't add props if you know you want to manipulate but if you know you want to retain the background the way it is you can add props but if you are shooting on a plain background probably want to manipulate the background make sure you shoot it plain completely plain without a single props on it that's the way you'll be able to, you'll be able to get what you want perfectly except probably for pictures like this probably you have a traditional mark you want to use or you have something that does not deal with the background so you can do what you can pick that one also and put it there so it's very very easy and straightforward so here's the first picture we're we'll working with right now all i just need to do is to do the basic adjustment we're done so let's do what let's open our picture what in photoshop right now we're still in camera raw. so let's wait, open our picture in photoshop and wait for it to load up so the two backgrounds will be given to you guys to download for free and eight others so just go to my telegram group and do what join my telegram group i'll be dropping the files there so let's go with the first picture which is this first thing i need to do is to crop my picture the size i want i'll click on my c since it's on 4 by 5 into bracket 8 by 10 it's still going to reshape the retain the size it's there initially so i'll just drag from the bottom like this i'll drag for the top also then i'll do what i'll click on enter key stay with me guys next thing i'll do right now is to control g on it this time around i'll go to my quick selection too under quick selection i'm going to click on select subject what I just need to do right now is to sit back and wait for this computer to do the selection for me. And boom, we already have our picture selected the way we want it to be. So, but it's not all that perfect, especially this area. Though we don't need it, but I like making my selection very, very perfect. So, I'll use my subtraction method and I'm going to subtract this area. If you still don't know how to remove background perfectly, kindly watch some other of my videos. They are going to help you a lot in terms of background removal and stuff. So, what I just need to do right now is to right click on it. I'll go to Feather. Under Feather, I'll make sure I'm using 2.0 pixel to 4.0 pixel. Anyone you feel like using the most. So I'll click on OK, then I'm going to max it. Right? What I'll just do right now is go back to my background layer again and duplicate it once more by clicking on Ctrl J. If you're using the MacBook, Command J. Then let's name this layer now. Let's name it our modifier layer. MODIFY. Then what I just need to do right now is to hold down my command key. If I'm using, if you're using a window PC, control key and click on the max of your subjects. Of this one, you just remove your subject, click on the max. So that's going to bring the selection back for you. Then go to select, another select, go to modify, then go to expand. So right now I'll be expanding by 8 pixels. All I just need to do is to click on OK. Then I'll do it. I'll click on my rectangle marker too. I want to add all these areas to the selection, this gray area, or this gray area. I want to add it to the selection. So I'll click my rectangle marker so I'll make sure it's an addition. And I'm going to scroll from here. But make sure I'm selecting part of the initial background. I'll do the same thing for the footer area. I'll do the same thing from the right hand side also. Then I just have to right click on it. I'll go to fill, under fill, I'll do what? Click on content away. If yours is not content away, open this icon up and click on content away. Then click on OK. Then just sit back and relax. Let it do the job for you. Boom. This is how it is right now. Ctrl D to select. So next thing we need to do right now is to do what? Bring in the background we'll be using right now. So we'll be going on the one minute short break. See you guys in the next one minute. Hello guys. Please kindly follow my new Facebook page. My previous page was actually blocked a few months ago and I have no followers on this particular. So follow me and I'll be dropping some real videos on my Facebook page and also some of my BTS on how I do my shoots. So the link is down in the video description. All you just need to do is to click. It's going to redirect you straight to my Facebook page. Follow and like some of my posts there. Thank you guys. If you watched the video to this point in time, that means you're loving my tutorial. So the only thing you can do to support me right now is just to click on the subscribe button and also drop a like. And if you also have a question, you can also drop a comment. You subscribing, you liking my video is going to make YouTube recommend my videos to others. And that's going to encourage me to create more videos like this for you guys to learn from. And note, I will also be dropping so many files that you guys can download for free. Files you need to be getting for premium. Each like count, each subscription counts. Welcome back guys. So right now what we want to do is to bring in our background that we'll be using. So I'll scroll to where the background is located. 
we have so many of them let's try this out first just have to drag it to my photoshop then i'll do it i will expand it till i see fit as you can see right now till i see fit then i'll click on ok you might be thinking why is there a straight line here all you just need to do right now create a max on it pick your brush make sure the color is on black and do what screw over this area so that it's going to blend in with the initial background so who is going to tell that we've actually brought in this background right now nobody so let's delete this off right now let's go back to our file manager again let's look for another one that we can make use of let's look for another one we can make use of okay like this one in particular right now all i just need to do is to drag it down to my photoshop wait for it to load up and i'm going to expand it see the way i see fit as you can see expand and adjust it very well once you're done click on ok then stick with the max on it pick your brush make sure the color is on black and you do what screw over the footer area like this just screw over it like this and boom it's blended it perfectly so nobody will know you actually brought this in they might think this is your studio backdrop for kids very very simple and straightforward all you just need to do right now color grid the picture and export it then you're good to go so let's go to the next picture unlike the first picture we'll be talking more about how i do the cropping and everything so i'm going to fast forward the process for you guys so catch you guys at the end of this So we've done, we, we've worked, we've actually separated everything we want to separate. All just need to do right now is to go back to the file manager and look for the background that is going to work with this baby right now. Okay, let's try this particular one right now or this, the both of them is going to work perfectly. Let's have to drag it down to my Photoshop right now, as you can see. What has to do is I will make sure I'm actually placing it at the back. So it's going to look very, very real as if it's actually there. So I'll click on my enter key. Next, I just need to do right now is to create a max on it. Pick my normal brush by clicking on it and make sure the color is on black. And I'm going to scroll over the what? The area where the edges are. Can you see right now? Look at how we blended this in very, very perfectly. So nobody is going to know we just manipulated our background. Very, very easy and straightforward. And all this background will be given to you guys to download for free. All you just need to do is to like, subscribe, and also join my Telegram group. Just as simple as that. Hope this video helped. If it does, don't forget to drop a like. Someone out there might be in just this video. See you guys in my next video tutorial. Reflex out.